let's talk about some of the important questions from kurukshetra we have been covering kurukshetra on a monthly basis so we are very well aware about the kind of content that is there but when it comes to question it becomes a little tricky what kind of questions could come up how we need to answer and how we need to understand and comprehend those most of the questions that you face from these sections are based on statements or the reasons for a certain issue so here agriculture agro based industry bamboo cultivation dairy industry textile and clothing industry and rural tourism are some of the major topics that have been touched now the annual industrial survey talks about agro industrial contribution of 36% of the industrial employment that is correct when it comes to nsso survey the employment which is uh for from the agriculture is nearly 49% so this statement gets incorrect here now for all of the questions we have not marked which of those is correct or incorrect so that's up to you read the question very very carefully whether it is asking about which of the following statements is correct or incorrect and based on which you would be attempting your answers the next is regarding the clothing and the textile industry now india government talks about the ntp the national textile policy 2000 and this national textile policy 2000 focused on a very important aspect where we to focused on the exports talking about increasing the exports from 3% to 10% by 2010 also we are talking about the people who are engaged into textile industry 40 million directly engaged and you have nearly 60000 40000 sorry uh, directly uh, 40 million directly engaged and 60 million which are indirectly part of it so nearly 100 million people which are part of the textile industry directly or indirectly 11% of that accounts for exports and we also contribute significantly in terms of the industrial index production the next is the issues faced by textile industry in india so availability of water effluent treatment disposal is some of the major problems along with the issues which relate to low fdi or foreign direct investment into the textile industries so that is again one of the major issues that we focus based on this we have technology upgradation fund scheme which is also known as tuf which is very very important for us to know the next is the statements regarding agro industries in india so agro industries are not highly competitive in rural areas but we have the urban area and the rural area if the industries are slowly and gradually moving from the urban area to the rural area there is a definite advantage that there can be a significant loss that could be registered because there is reduced distress on the urban areas on the other hand the rural areas can grow well and there could be uh, sectors that could bloom up in the rural area as well so this is definitely a very good idea of migrating from the uh, urban areas to the rural areas the next is indian dairy industry is classified as production by masses because we are focusing on cooperative farming and since we focus on cooperative farming and cooperative farm sector production by masses not the mass production becomes important milk production has drastically increased from nearly 55 uh, million tons to 171 million tons so there has been a significant increase that has been registered and india is the largest producer of the milk so milk production has been uh, with a world record that has been registered with india and 19% of the world's milk production is accounted to india the next is regarding the dairy processing and infrastructure development fund definitely when you are giving some extra service you are adding value to it so value added products for the milk unions and milk production companies are very very important because they add to extra income and they can be jointly impl implemented by national development dairy uh, dairy development board and national dairy development Co cooperation also you have the didf which is the dairy development and infrastructural development fund so again this is very very important uh, talking about the national dairy uh, development board and so on the next is when we are talking about the dairy sectors there are certain issues that we face obviously there is lack of organized credit system there is lack of efficient cold chain storage and distribution network the infrastructure is too old and we have low productivity of bovines that is seen so those are some of the major issues that we face also there is lack of penetration into smaller towns there is a lack of organized credit uh, credit score machines that are seen 
द नेक्स्ट इज रिगार्डिंग द डेरी एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप डेवलपमेंट स्कीम द आइडिया इज टू प्रमोट एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बाई जनरेटिंग मोर सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द डेरी डेवलपमेंट सेक्टर एंड नाबार्ड हैज बीन वर्किंग हार्ड फॉर द सेम सो बोथ द स्टेटमेंट गेट करेक्ट हेयर द नेक्स्ट इज रिगार्डिंग जूट थ्री स्टेट्स विच आर वेस्ट बेंगाल बिहार एंड आसाम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू नियरली एटी परसेंट ऑफ द जूट प्रोडक्शन हाउ एवर इंडियन जूट इज लेस सुपीरियर टू बांग्लादेश जूट ना वॉट हैपन्ड इफ यू गो बैक टू द टाइम ऑफ पार्टिशन यू हैड द ईस्ट पाकिस्तान विच वॉज बांग्लादेश विच हैड द बेस्ट जूट प्रोडक्शन एरियाज हाउ एवर मोस्ट ऑफ द जूट प्रोडक्शन मिल्स व लेफ्ट इन इंडिया and that is where during the separation of india and bangladesh in 1971 there was a severe uh, blow to the jute industry that was witnessed because of the same so be very very careful about the terms here you have maharashtra that is given and that's the only odd one it should have been bihar here okay the next is regarding bamboo bamboo was so far considered under the category of tree and cutting was banned however recently it has been shifted to the category of grasses and therefore now cutting of bamboo is allowed so it is used for construction and structural material since it grows very quickly it rehabilitates the degraded area at a much, much faster pace and also improves the air quality by releasing more oxygen and sequestering more carbon dioxide so it basically holds on more carbon dioxide and releases more oxygen into the atmosphere to boost the bamboo sector you have this furthi scheme which is the scheme for a uh, scheme of fund for regeneration of traditional industries to boost bamboo artisans also training of the tribal people to use bamboo best is another part of it so sphurti the elements of sphurti how we have been working as a nodal agency for promotion of cluster development for khadi has been one of the elements for it the next is china is the largest producer of bamboo followed by india in india you have the highest cover which is seen as seen in mizoram and mizoram is also known as the bamboo queen of india so again very very important the benefits of bamboo we have already seen and under the state of india environment report 2018 we have brought about significant information on bamboo agro industries have become engines of growth and are tremendously significant for indian scenario because there is better utilization of raw raw, raw material raw resources there are export opportunities now let's say you have an agricultural produce with a smaller shelf life but with this agriculture if you are converting it into an industrial output with an agro industrial base what would happen first of all the shelf life would increase you have more probability to export it there is value addition so definitely you can charge more and the rural areas can earn more so transmission of industrial centers into rural areas would again give a thrust to the economic scenario of the rural area so all of those would definitely help with the establishment of the agro based industries the gramin bandaran yojana is again important scheme which aims to prevent the distress sale by the farmers by providing the facility of pledge financing and this promotes grading standardization and quality control of the agricultural produce again a very very uh, important scheme part of the recent developments rural godowns have been constructed even uh, in the food park zones by the ministry of food processing industry so that is again a very very important development the next is some of the way around development sericulture which is related to silk production and manufacturing now this is highly labor intensive you have mulberry trees then rearing of cocoon all of this is highly highly labor intensive so this is correct maharashtra is one of the largest producers of vegetable oil and uttar pradesh the largest producer of sugar again in india we have two centers for sugar production the north area and the south area in the south you have karnataka uh, maharashtra along with karnataka in the recent years which has bloomed up and in the north you have the regions of in and around uttar pradesh so that's one of the two different areas where you have the cotton uh, sorry the sugar cultivation that is seen and a very very important uh, center because you have the sugar industry is located close to sugar cane manufacturing regions the reason being the transportation cost is to be minimized considering the fact the transportation of the sugar cane would uh, be very very costly considering that this is bulky and again the content of sucrose decline over the time 
So those are some of the key highlights that we have discussed today. We would be coming up with many more interesting lectures for you. Stay subscribed, stay aware with more updates coming on our channel. And 2020, we have lot many scheduled for you. Many of the expected topics and expected questions. Have a wonderful evening.